back in the day, now I'm, like I said, I'm just going back to 86. I'm not going back to 1930 something, but uh, uh, back in the 80s, there were more trees on the property. And all these pine trees that you see out there uh, were not trimmed up. They went all the way to the ground. So uh, if you missed a fairway, you lost your ball. Or if you found it, you couldn't get at it. I remember I lost in the finals to Brian uh, Belden one year. Brian hit one iron on every hole. Didn't make any difference. Uh, that was my mistake, thinking that I could go ahead and hit driver because uh, I don't know how I, I think I might have lost two up or something, but I had a number of balls in the tree that was only five feet off the fairway. So the golf course played a pretty uh, 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 difficult from a driving point of view uh, back in those days. Now, they've uh, cleaned up the place uh, quite a bit, as everybody has over the years. You have to, have to uh, maintain you know, the trees and so forth, manage all of that. But uh, most of the trees are trimmed up now. So if you do hit it off the fairway, I mean, at least you can punch the shot out. So, so that's a, a little bit better. But as I said, the golf course is short, so it has to have some defense. Uh, the tightness is one thing that's been opened up a little, but the other defense are the greens. And uh, yes, they do ramp things up, and uh, they try to get the greens very firm and very fast, and they usually succeed. And uh, in 2002, uh, I can remember that particular year, they ramped the greens up, and then it got a little windy, got a little warmer than normal, and the greens got a little out of control, and they were probably, for those that are familiar with the stint meter uh, readings, uh, they got up to about 17. I mean, in the qualifying round, I four-putted like four times, and I was over there, uh, just right over here uh, to our left uh, on the uh, 12th hole, and I was ready to go in. I was so upset, uh, and I said, well, no, that's not the way to do things. So I stuck in there, and I managed to qualify for the championship flight, then I won. So, so anyway, the moral of that story is, you know, you don't ever quit. You, you hang in there, and you just make the best of it no matter what. So I'm glad I did that. But the point is, is that that year, the greens were crazy, and I can remember somebody asking me after the finals match. It was a, it was a great finals against Dave Blyhar. Uh, that went all the way to the 36th hole. Back then, we played 36 holes in the final. Uh, it, it, was a, it was a great match, but uh, I remember somebody asking me, gee, you know, uh, followed you all day long. I, you didn't make as many birdies as I thought you were going to make. And I go, well, quite frankly, I mean, I wasn't trying to. I'm trying to not three-putt. <laughs> so you have to deal with whatever's in front of you, but uh, di to directly answer your question, uh, the course must have some type of a defense and the greens uh, usually provide that. Yeah.